Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you a quick warning when it comes to replacing your struts on a first gen Toyota Tacoma. Now as you can see I've got a double cab or four door, the largest uh, cab size that you could get on these trucks. But uh, the most important thing when it comes to replacing the struts in this vehicle, and I'm talking about the entire assemblies, is the fact that they don't make that part number. At least no third party does. If you go to Advanced Auto Parts, AutoZone, O'Reilly, buy it online, wherever, you're not going to find a specific drop-in assembly for this truck. At least not affordable, but um, I didn't find any on the expensive side either. But let me go ahead and tell you why. The cab on the double cab is much heavier and if you purchase any of the other drop-in struts for instance Munro's or Duralas your truck is going to sit substantially lower now I'm gonna post some images of what this truck looked like with those on there but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the strut here This is actually off of a Toyota 4Runner of the same year. The Toyota 4Runners had the exact same strut length and they also had, uh, you know, heavier springs. And uh, they are the proper part to use for a four-door Toyota Tacoma. Now you can use all the other ones for the, uh, you can use uh, the ones that advance and all that for uh, the single cab and the extended cab models, but not the four-door. So what happened is the truck sat three inches lower my lower control arms were at an upward angle and i had it aligned uh too soon after replacing them and what it actually caused uh after they settled even more after the alignment was as the upper control arms lifted up the camber to begin with was not able to be aligned to begin with i had negative camber like crazy so the bottom of the tires were sticking out and the top of the tires were sticking in and as it settled, it spread the toe apart and ended up making the tires spread on the front side of it spread even wider apart. So when it comes to the double cab, my fair warning to you guys is purchase the Toyota 4Runner strut for your year model. It really doesn't matter. It's the same from 95 to 04. And this is on the pre-runner side. Don't get me wrong. Um, if your truck is not a pre-runner, you won't have this issue. Uh, or a uh, V6 because the pre-runner has four-wheel drive suspension and the four-wheel drive obviously still has four-wheel drive suspension. But four-runner uh, struts, I've got this information from uh, Toyota Tacoma Forum and uh, it's the only way to do it, guys. Or else your truck is gonna sit very low. Next, I'm gonna post some pictures of what this truck looked like uh, when it was sagging. See, everything looks good now. Just back sitting up, ready to go in for another alignment.